Hi everyone, it's Dawn and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, we have big news coming from Disney Cruise Line. We have uh, an update on the missing British person who went overboard on Royal Caribbean. We also have Royal Caribbean canceling an Alaska excursion over a few cruises and it's not where you think it might be. Then we also have another crew member going missing on Carnival Dream as well as, uh, yep, the Carnival Biston. Well, she's having engine problems again. Are you tired of getting a ton of spam emails and spam phone calls from scammers and people just trying to sell you stuff? Well, that information is given out because you've gone online and just searched something and those companies have taken that information and sold it to data brokers and those data brokers are now sending it out to people who are saying oh this guy's interested in this or this guy's interested in that and they're also saying what else do you want to buy do you want to buy his address do you want to buy his personal information they're looking to sell all of your information even to scammers out there but the good thing is if you request them to get off those lists they have to remove you from those lists so i'm just going to make that phone call right I don't, I don't know who to call. Do you know who to call to get yourself off this list? Well, guess what? Luckily, I do. You can sign up for Incogni. Incogni will contact all of these data brokers and have them removed from those information lists. And they have to do it by law. And if they refuse to do it, Incogni will fight that fight for you as well. When I signed up, I immediately had 36 different data brokers had my information and so far, they've all been removed. And I, my, I, my emails are, are so much less. Only emails I'm looking for and hardly any spam going forward. So if you would like to maybe get rid of those spams and even perhaps protect yourself from possible hackers getting your information, why not check out Incogni? Use the link down below or even the QR code right here and you can get up to 60% off by using the code FAMILY. I think you will really be surprised at just how inexpensive and how great this service is. First, let's start off with the Carnival Dream. Uh, a crew member has gone missing. Coast Guard was notified. It was, uh, uh, I believe, the Mexican authorities who started a, doing a thorough search as well and unfortunately have not come up with the missing crew member after this amount of time so far. So as they always say, bad news comes in threes and we had three consecutive days of people going overboard on three separate cruise lines in three separate parts of the world. Not a great week for that sort of news. Condolences goes out to the crew and family members of the missing person on the Carnival Dream. We do hold out a little hope, but the longer, as we always say, goes on, the less likely of a positive outcome. Speaking of a positive outcome, Royal Caribbean member who went missing on the Explorer of the Seas has still not been found. Uh, they say they will keep the search going for as long as possible. Apparently, there is hope as the water there I thought was colder than it is. It's actually unusually warm they said for this time and they were holding out hope that that might allow the person to remain in the water for a longer period of time but again it's been another 24 hours and we have not had a positive outcome to that story as well also Disney Cruise Line has uh, well they had four ships then they announced they're buying a new ship and building it it came out five ships and then they surprised everybody and said well we're gonna have four more ships with the one in China and we're building other ships to make it a total of nine well D23 just happened and that's their big convention that they have every two years well they just announced four more ships making their fleet up to 13. They're going from four ships to 13 in about 10 years time, which is really fast for a single cruise line. I guess um, they just want to hit more parts of the world and have a bigger fleet. I mean, that's a pretty large fleet by the time that comes all being said and done. So apparently Disney Cruise Line seems to be doing very, very well. Next, let's talk about the Royal Caribbean cruise that just had two of its 
glacier exploring Endicott Arm and Tracy Arm Fjord basically cancelled out for a couple of cruises going forward and without saying too much reasoning why behind it but speculation is that generally it's because there are a lot of ice flow right now at this time of year and it is causing issues with possibly damaging the cruise ship. If you remember not too long ago in 2022 when the Norwegian cruise line was heading to one of the glaciers it ran into a growler iceberg which is a very low low iceberg mostly under the water and it uh, caused some damage causing them to cancel their next cruise and, and like that end that cruise until repairs could be assessed and everything. It was dense fog when that happened as well. So they're not taking any chances with Royal Caribbean and they are canceling those excursions. They are going to refund everybody and giving them a 15% discount on any other excursions they'd like to book in the future if that was one of your excursions that were canceled. So half decent uh, compensation there and yep you gotta you gotta remain safe it's very disappointing when the glacier part of your alaska cruise is canceled out as most people are really looking forward to that experience when you go to alaska next we have the carnival vista that's right the carnival vista just seems to have engine problems after engine problems after engine problems at least that class does if you remember this was the, the ship that had to get that specially designed repair vessel that went out to sea and actually had the vessel park in it so they can make engine repairs. Well, it has engine problems again. And as passengers were on the way to the ships and even some of them that were actually on the ship already when a text message went out saying, yeah, our planned trip to Aruba, Southern Caribbean area, we're, we're not going there anymore. Instead, we're gonna go to Princess K, uh, Half Moon K, and we're gonna go to Nassau. So it's a completely different itinerary. Now they are offering the passengers a choice. You can get uh, $400 onboard credit if you remain on the ship with this new itinerary, and uh, it, it's per stateroom. Or you can get a one, if you choose not to go, you get a 100% refund. Um, so we'll have to see. No indication on how long the repairs might be. However, if they're able, say, to shut down one engine, then they can make repairs on the other engine. Uh, it has already been noted that the cruise ship has left port more than two hours after its original scheduled time to leave. And then it was supposed to head to Aruba, but it is now heading to Nassau. And it's going to spend a full day at sea before getting to Nassau, even though it's only about 300 miles away, which is a very slow speed for a cruise ship to get there. So we're not sure just how fast and how problematic these repairs could be in the future. But if you're on the Carnival Vista coming up, uh, you might want to take note of that. Many passengers are upset saying that, hey, they had to have known about these changes and they basically waited till people were either on their way or even at the port getting on the ship already before they told them about their options. Many people may not have even left for the cruise and would have canceled, took their money back had they taken, had they told them like a day or two beforehand and not the day of the cruise in the afternoon. However, we don't know how long these repairs were in need we don't know if this was something that happened on the way back to port and they just said hey we can't run the engine on this anymore we have to do these repairs now let everybody know so we have to take them at that face value we just don't know the situation of course that doesn't stop the speculation and that doesn't stop people from going yeah that uh, uh, that's kind of doing their own passengers dirty that's what a lot of people are saying. However, we have no proof that's the case. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think Carnival waited until the last minute to let people know so most people wouldn't cancel the cruise and they would have less people on the cruise spending money in the casino, et cetera, buying dining, et cetera, buying shore excursions? A lot of people are going to assume that right away. Let me know in the comments down below. And until next time, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.